Hey guys, I Heart Movies here, and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories Reverse Rebirth. In the last episode, we, um, what do we do? I forget. We, oh yeah, we defeated Ansem. Yeah, we did We did that first. And, um, Riku acquired some new dark powers from Ansem. And this is, when the, only, this is the only time we can use a slate. Let's show off, um, Dark Farad. It's a combination. You need, um, I believe it's 15 to 25 you need for combination for this. It's with three soul eaters. Let's go ahead and show that off. Pretty basic attack, it's just the same attack from before. And, um, yeah, it's uh, the same thing when he fought Riku with Sora. And then Riku's um, sidestep thing is, well, it didn't really show it off because I was getting my ass handed to me. And it wasn't really a good demo of it, but, um, essentially a lot of the differences with uh, Dark Riku, I'll just call him Dark Riku, and normal Riku, when he does a sidestep thing, it's a much longer step. I mean, I mean, he travels a lot farther across the screen when he uses it. And he also, has, he also has some special moves that he can use only while in dark mode, just like the slates. Um, when you jump, you can press um, press B and then A to do a little jumping attack. And then or do B, press on B, B, then A. And you'll do a jumping attack and you'll land right behind the enemy. And you'll do a, you'll do a few slashes right there. Um, I think there's another one. Yeah, you press B and then A actually. It's a, it's a spinning attack, which is good for when you're surrounded by a bunch of Heartless. I'll be, I'll be showing all these off um, as much as I can, really. I actually would like to show them off again, since uh, this first battle wasn't really a good demo of it. So I'll try it again. See so if you want to play it hard. There you go. Okay, let's try this again. Your yeah, first uh, reach your sidestep is that. It's a much better way of traveling across the screen. And then see, so you have B, B, and then A for that. And then you also have B, A for that. And you can keep pressing A while you're in the air. And using that, using now the B, B, A move to get behind enemies is actually a really good move to use against the Fat Bandit Heartless here. So, definitely keep that in mind while you're training here. And, um, I think that's really about it. But yeah, for uh, Riku's uh, spinning attack, you can, um, yeah, you can press the A button multiple times to do more than one spin. I think you need to do, I think up to, I think either two or three spins when you use it. But yeah, that can be due when you're surrounded by a ton of enemies and need to uh, clear some space. Yeah, I think that's, that pretty much covers it for um, all of Riku's attacks. Except for Dark Aura, which I can't show off yet. I don't have uh, three nines in my deck to use it, so... That'll wait until later. Yeah, for right now, yeah, let's go ahead and just kill all these guys. I probably should have killed all these guys off-screen, and I didn't, so... Oh well, no big deal. Yeah, one other thing I think I mentioned in an earlier episode, um, Riku only has one story event per floor. Well, it's not really even a story event, it goes right to the boss battle. They see yeah, the one story room is right down here, and of course the maps for Riku are different than they were for Sora. Ah, excuse me, so yeah, this is the uh, one story room right here, and that leads to the boss battle. So yeah, you got, get your training done while you're here, and then that's it, really. So, yeah, it's a lot more streamlined than with Sora, it's a lot... It's more gameplay and less plot, essentially, is what it is. But this still has a, share, a fair share of plot, too, so. Let's see. I do want to get Riku a quick level while I'm here, so. I think this battle will do it. And I can't answer my phone right now. I'm recording, so. Yeah. So, ignore for right now. Sorry, whoever's calling. I'll call you back as soon as I'm done. Yay, level up. Level 9. Yeah, level like level, I'd say level 9 or 10 at this point is pretty good. Because you can train a lot more. I mean, you, you can train in Hollow Bastion until at least level 10 if you want to. That's actually what I do sometimes. Since the enemies there give a ton of experience points, so figure why not. Gives you a good head start for the rest of the game. Yeah, there you go. And I remember I increased Riku's HP last time, so I'll go dark points this time. There we go. And yeah, I don't want I don't feel like finding any more enemies, so yeah. See, so, yeah, trying to get some more HP while I'm around here. Oh, so, yeah, this is another thing I think I mentioned before. Yeah, Riku can only get HP from the treasure spots like this. I think I mentioned that before in the first episode, so yeah. Um let's just use lasting days, I don't particularly care. Yeah, I think for, yeah, as far as Riku's dark powers goes, I think I already covered that, and I've already said that I covered it like three or four times already, so I need to stop talking about that. Let's see, where is the door? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay, right down here. Yeah, it's really tucked away, way down here. Um, 
You know, let's use Tranquil Darkness. Don't really have its legend of map cards for right now, but um, eh, no big deal. Let's see, and I should be full on HP. Just obviously, yeah, the doors right here. Of course, you remember from Agrabah with Sora, the boss is Jafar, so there's really, really no spoilers as far as bosses go, since you know what they're going to be anyway. So, Let's see, you need a three red, so that will do perfectly, and key of the beginnings, and that's it. As soon as we go in, it's boss time. It's Jafar, awesome. And yeah, same as before. Uh, you can't attack Jafar. You have to attack Iago, same as last time. And thankfully, since Riku has a lot higher jump than Sora, he can reach Iago on the uh, second platforms a lot easier than Sora can. So, and yeah, the thing was same as before. Just yeah, go for Iago. Now I'm gonna wait until I get him down at least a little bit because um. I want, I want you to use my um the overdrive for Dragon Maleficent. I want to wait for that. And if I can actually freaking hit him, okay, jump up there. You go. Okay. Yeah, Riku's dead for this boss. It's um, it's it's okay for this boss. I mean, he has a few sevens in it, but the uh, fours and threes kind of kill it a little bit. So. And yeah, just pretty much just uh wail on him when he just when he gets close to um being dead. I'll um I'll use the uh, Maleficent card for a little extra attack boost right there. And I uh, can't quite reach him. Of course, yeah, when you need to heal, just um, start some Mickey cards, and that's really all you need to do. Simple as that. There you go. A few more combos should do it. Of course, uh, getting into dark mode obviously helps too. That'll be that'll be pretty much your saving grace in a ton of boss battles later on in the game, so. Yeah, definitely try to build up the 30 dark points as soon as possible. Yeah, some slates, pretty much all of Riku's slates in dark mode are awesome against bosses, so... Yeah, feel free to abuse it when you get to that point. Yeah, Overdrive should give me a nice boost here. And, yeah, let's dot some Mickeys, as I do need to heal a little bit. Or, okay, I need to just go into dark mode, that works too. There you go. And, let's see, a spinning attack. There you go. Simple as that. If anything, yeah, Jafar is actually easier with Riku than he is with Sword, because you have dark mode already. See, and Jafar's enemy card, which, like, uh, Maleficent, is already added to your deck, so... And, yeah, that's it. No plot with uh, Al Al Aladdin and Jasmine and all that fun crap, so... Yeah, I'm gonna run away. I don't feel like fighting right now. Let's see, and where's the way out? Uh, this room right up here. So let's head, up, let's head off over that away. And, yeah, that's, that pretty much takes care of the uh, second world, really. Yeah, it, it def it's definitely nice that Riku only has one story room per floor, and you, you go and fight the boss, and then that's it, you're done. Simple as that. So, of course, the gameplay with Riku, uh, as far as game time goes, is much, much less than it is with Sora. But still, it's, it's definitely a very fun game mode all the same, so... Yeah, I definitely liked how they did this. Um, let's see, this should be the last room right here. Yes, should be. Let's see, I should probably do some training. I'm running out of cards. Holy crap. Well, that's what I'll be doing in between episodes. I'll be doing some much-needed training for Riku in between episodes. Um, let's see. I did not mean to press that. Yeah, I'll probably get Riku to... Jeez, I don't know. At least 12 or 13 level-wise. Just for some more HP, dark points, and all that fun stuff. And plus, yeah, I, I need map cards. I'm almost out anyway, so... Let's see, and... Oh, no boss battle here. Okay. Oh, it's, yeah, yeah, they were mentioning that last time, yeah, he picked up a scent, and it found out it's Riku. Uh, no, no, Riku's still here. Yeah, you remember in Kingdom Hearts 1, yeah, Riku and King Mickey, or King Mickey, were on the other side of the door to darkness when Sora, Dawn, and Goofy closed it. And they finally got out. Need some half-dark? Hmm. That's interesting. Another hero. Oh yeah, that's yeah, Sora did get here first. I forget if they mentioned Um how long it took for Riku to get here after Sora got here. I'm actually not sure about that. So I'm guessing, yeah, by the time Riku got here, Sora was already here, but I just don't know for how long.
Yeah, I wonder who the superior is he keeps talking about, but... Oh, well, we'll find out more about that later. It, and uh, that'll be the uh, blah, 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 I can't talk. But yeah, guys, that'll be the end of today's episode. So next time on Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories of Verse Rebirth, we will head off to the next basement floor. This has been IRL Movie Sign Off, guys. Have a nice day, and thanks for watching.